Okay, welcome to uh, exam guidance on Unit B603, uh, Medical Ethics and Poverty and Wealth. In this part, in this short video, I'm going to run through very quickly uh, exactly what it is you are supposed to do on the exam itself. Uh, I have a mock exam paper, as you'll see on the screen here, and on that screen, it also says that there are three sections in this exam. And if you follow this one through, you only need to answer two of the three sections. Section B, Religion and Medical Ethics. And Section C, Religion, Poverty and Wealth. You do not answer any of Section A as we have done nothing in our classroom lessons on religion and human relationships. So, if you open the exam paper, you will find this page. Obviously, it will be different, the questions, but it will be in the same format as this. And the first thing I want you to notice at the top is you'll see where it says section B, religion and medical ethics. It's the correct section and the correct topic. You will also see that there are two crossed out sections in this paper on the board. The two crossed out sections are sections that are one Buddhism and two Hinduism. Clearly in class, if you look at uh, this section here, it is the correct religion. We have been studying Christianity, so you are going to answer, as it says, the correct set of questions from Christianity, and you will answer A, B, C, D and E in that order from the Christianity question on religion and medical ethics. For each set of questions, of which you will answer two, there are, it should take you 30 minutes in total. The exam lasts for one hour. The second section that we're looking for is section C, religion and poverty and wealth. So again, you will have to turn your exam paper over and you will have to find the correct section and topic, which it clearly says religion, poverty and wealth. Again, I've crossed out the two other religions. In fact, there will be other religions there to show you that actually you need to pick Christianity, which is the correct religion. And again, answer the five set of questions labelled A, B, C, D and E. Again, you'll spend 30 minutes on this set of questions in total, making one hour. Part D and E questions are the most important. Uh, these questions should be the questions you spend the most time on, roughly around 20 minutes. D questions and E questions are levelled responses. That means what you write will have a levelled response to. So your answer will either be level 0, level 1, level 2 or 3, if it's in part D, and level 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 for level E. Each level has marks within it. Uh, obviously level 1 has 1 to 2 marks, going up to level 3, which is 5 to 6 marks. And the same for E, level 1 is 1 to 3 marks, whereas level 4 is 10 to 12 marks. Clearly you're aiming to get in the higher levels. Each one of the higher levels has specific things you need to do to get that higher level. Part D questions are worth 6 marks. And if you look at part D, it will always ask you a question about religious teaching on a topic. For example... Uh, religious view of abortion, euthanasia, fertility treatment, etc. And you will have to give specific teachings, quotes, related from Christianity uh, in order to answer this question. In this section, you never give your own opinion. It will just be ignored. It's always a religious 
view that we're looking for and a Christian view at that. E questions are the most important. It's worth double D. It's worth 12 marks. And this is the question where you will get a statement and you will be asked to discuss the statement. And again, in order to get the higher marks, you need to very, very clearly give your reasons. And in this question, you give a personal opinion. You do not... Uh, you have to to get the higher levels. You also have to give a religious view or and views with clear reasons as well using quotes and also it would be good if you could include another view with a reason why somebody might hold that view. You always give your opinion in this section, always, and that will ensure you get the higher level responses to this answer. That's been a quick run through of the exam and how to approach the exam and the best way if you'd like to answer the questions.